we say databases databases based on this type what we have we have uh, sequence database we have structural database right apart from that we also have two more types of database here which we'll discuss now we have family for protein we have family and domain remember in case of protein we have family and domain database and we also need interaction interaction database okay so you can see that uh, throughout this process of lecturing uh, for bioinformatics i'll use database terms so many times and i'll classify database in so many different ways i'll also sum it up later on but for now understand this for a for a protein database here we are talking about for a protein database we have sequence database structural database we have talked about it a little bit earlier and now i am also going to talk about the family and domain database and interaction database because if there is a protein x and there is a protein y then the protein x will interact with protein y this protein protein interaction is very important and this protein protein interaction uh, need to be analyzed with the interaction databases where family and domain database is a place where protein family so what is the da this database example of what let me write it down prosite prosite is an example of this family and domain database right so what it has it has different structural pattern if you run the profile of those structural pattern what we'll find out we can find out different family of proteins okay families of protein and domain of the proteins because we know that when the protein structure is being formed uh, there are different domain structures uh, domain of the proteins are you know after super secondary structures we have these domains where they have a particular role to play okay so remember when you try to understand bioinformatics tools of bioinformatics particularly for a protein database and protein database search you need to have a clear understanding of protein topology and how exactly the protein structure is formed from primary secondary tertiary and all okay it's very very important what is domain what is motif all these ideas must be crystal clear otherwise you cannot understand and i will not explain what is domain and motif right here because this is a class of bioinformatics and we have interaction database okay example for such interaction database is swiss 2d swiss two dimensional gel swiss two dimensional gel page what is page polyacrylamide gel